Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 23rd December 2018. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, or more importantly, how it may help in your trading, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co and click on the about menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we we'll look at oil and gold using technical charts. These two commodities tend to impact related stocks. In general, when swing trading stocks, we like to align them with the market's direction. We'll study market's direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market bread and technical charts of the market ETFs. In addition to aligning the trades with market's direction, we like to align them with industry strength. We'll study that using industry scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may look at some of the recent trade ideas shared in our traders forum and look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop template and daily hop on template. Together we call this at a glance template because it helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge of the chart in only a few seconds. One week ago in the weekly chart we had a neutral color candle. The candle shape was bearish. From there this week oil fell heavily with very high activity and it closed below the memory trendline support. In the daily chart, it fell heavily. At present, price is below lower boundary level, that is oversold. It is too late to take any short trade and it is in clear downtrend. Therefore, there is no long trade setup either. Gold ETF GLD. One week ago, the weekly candle color was neutral. This week, price went up. GLD closed with cyan color candle in the weekly chart that is bullish. However, it has a long upper tail that is sending mixed picture. Gold is outperforming the market. You can see that from the relative performance line sharply going up. In the daily chart, it broke above several memory resistance lines at this point. However, price was already close to the upper boundary lines. At that time, I mentioned that because it was close to the upper boundary level, we would not be taking any long trade. Instead, we could wait for a pullback and then move up again giving us a cyan color candle to take a trend following long trend. We had a cyan color candle on this day. However, again price was very close to the upper boundary level. Therefore, we would not be taking any swing long trade in GLD on this day. After that price went up on this day. However, that day, that is Thursday, ended with an indecisive shape candle with both upper and lower tails. 
next day friday price went down and it displayed a bearish headwind possible reversal signal because it has displayed bearish headwind signal we are not going to take any long trade instead if you are holding a long position in gld you may protect profit using q trailing stop this is another look at gold this time using gold futures in the futures contract on this day we had a cyan color candle that gave us a trend following go with flow long trade setup you could take the trade at the close of that day putting stop just below recent low after that price went up and hit the upper boundary level that was the initial profit target of the swing long trade and you would book at least partial profit at that time in the gold future also on friday there is a possible reversal bearish headwind signal therefore either you could book full profit on friday or at minimum you would protect profit in remaining position using trailing stop from commodities analysis we move on to market breadth analysis we are looking at nasdaq composite index and nyse composite index using weekly charts along with three pairs of internals new high low advance decline and up down volume because this study is using broad indices and weekly interval you may use it more for longer term investment decisions not so much for swing trading and certainly not for day trading in past couple of weeks both nasdaq and nysc were moving in a wide sideways range this week both the indices broke below the sideways range and it broke down heavily with very bearish shape long candles that is showing a very bearish picture and the bearish picture is evident from the internals also new high low for both the indices are recording extreme negative values not seen for a very long time the other four internals advance decline and up down volume are also sharply going down in summary we may conclude that market is strongly bearish and the internals are also bearish for this week let us see if we reach the same conclusion from market etf analysis s&p 500 etf spy in the weekly chart we have a very bearish shape candle with bearish color magenta color and this week price dropped with very high activity in the daily chart friday of previous week gave us a magenta color candle at that time we already had lower high and lower low when an instrument shows lower high and lower low and then displays a magenta color candle that is the signal for taking a low risk swing short trade however at that time price was just above the weekly memory support line looking at that you would not initiate the short trade on the magenta candle but you would wait for next day this week's monday price tried to go up little bit above the memory support in the weekly chart and reversed immediately in the daily chart that false upside breakout happened on this candle monday candle once the false breakout was complete you could take a shot at the close of monday because this was a breakout trade you could use q protection signal to set your stop loss instead of setting the stop above recent high therefore you would not set your stop 
at this level instead you would set your stop somewhere here using the Q protection signal. That signal uses the instrument's volatility to keep the stop safe distance away but not so far away that you lose a lot of profit in case the instrument reverses. SPY didn't go up. Instead, after the false upside breakout, it fell heavily. By Friday, you had much more than risk distance covered and you would book at least partial profit. As the market is very bearish, SPY is very bearish, there would not be any reason to book full profit. You would book partial profit with discipline and hold on to partial position with trailing stop trying to let profit run. NASDAQ 100 ETF QQQ One week ago we had yellow color candle, neutral color but the candle shape was very bearish. At that time price was above the weekly memory support lines. This week price sharply dropped breaking below both the memory support lines with very high activity. In the daily chart, it dropped heavily after displaying the magenta color candle. That was the optimal short entry opportunity. From there, price dropped heavily. At the right edge, price is below lower boundary level. That is too oversold to take any short trade. And it is in clear downtrend. Therefore, we would not take any swing long trade at this time. Dow Jones Industrial ETF DIA same picture like SPY weekly has a very bearish shape and bearish color candle this week's activity is very high in the daily price drop heavily it is oversold there is no swing trade entry opportunity right now Russell 2000 ETF IWM this is the weakest of the four ETFs we have bearish color and bearish shape candles in the weekly chart for three successive weeks now. Relative performance shows that it is underperforming the market. This week fell down with very high activity. When price was in the sideways range, I had mentioned that if the market goes down, IWM would give the easiest shorting opportunities. That came true as IWM fell sharply more than others. You could take the short trades using intraday fine tune chart and all of those trades ended with very high profit. At the right edge, price is well below the lower boundary level to oversold to take new swing short trade, at least using daily chart. And there is no bullish signal, therefore you would not take any long trade either. If you combine the outcome of the market breadth analysis with the result of the market ETF study, then you may conclude that market is very bearish. In this market condition, it is safer not to try to take many long trades, not even in defensive stocks. It is safer to take only short trades. They will give considerable profit quickly. Or if you are not willing to take short trades, you may stay out of the market for the time being. That is the conclusion from the market level. Market level is quite broad. Once you drill down into the sector industry level and then look at stocks fundamentals and technicals, you are able to find trade opportunities where industry, fundamental and technicals all are aligned together giving you high probability low risk trades with good reward risk ratio. Four week sector performance analysis. We are looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods. Red bar represents performance of this week. Green bar performance of one week prior to the red bar and blue bar performance of two weeks prior to the green bar. Together they represent four weeks or about one month of performance. 
any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up any bar coming to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down this week all the sectors bars are to the left of the zero line so all the sectors drop they drop heavily by between 4.6 to 12.2 percentage those are significant drops for one week showing a very bearish picture at the sector level all across the board it is best to wait before buying stocks and that is true even if the stock is fundamentally strong in fact in the current bearish market you can short stock if they give low risk short trade setup on technical charts and if the industry is weak you don't have to check for fundamental weakness before shorting as you would do in a bullish or sideways market because the market is dropping heavily you can take short trades in weak industries giving you optimal short point and you should be able to make good profit from that only utilities and real estate these two sectors have some bars coming to the right of the zero line showing that they are relatively stronger than others still in the bearish market as we have now it is much easier to profit from shorts than from longs you will do well to keep that in mind and trade accordingly sector scorecard and heat map using q edge we are looking at the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods of 10 days 5 days etc cyan represents strength and magenta represents weakness in the current week utilities and financials are the strongest sectors and healthcare and energy are the weakest sectors though utilities financials are relatively stronger from the numbers under the 5 days header you can see that all the sectors declined and none of the sectors went up this week therefore even if utilities and financials are relatively stronger than others you would do well to avoid taking any long trades right now the pace 5 days column shows the acceleration or deceleration of the sectors this can help determine if a sector is turning around you can see financials has the most acceleration the pace 5 days column has the biggest score and it is in bright cyan color so financials is gaining momentum fast will you buy stocks in financials now no you wouldn't do that because the market is very bearish however if the market starts to turn up then you may drill into financials and look for fundamentally strong stocks that are also going up until the market starts to go up you will avoid taking new long trades best performing industries of this week we are looking at these industries 5 days and 10 days scores normally you would look for buying opportunities from these industries however as i mentioned in the previous market roundup as well this time is not the time to look for buying stocks more so if they are not in defensive sectors since then market bearishness increase therefore the same conclusion holds true this week as well gold is the best performing industry of this week and this is the only industry that went up all the other industries tracked in q edge went down this week in the gold mining industry i had shared or as a potential buy in the monday morning meeting based on the technical breakout above memory resistance trend line on friday 7th december since then the stock has gone up by more than 6% based on this friday's close 
at this week's high it had exceeded 10% profit and you would book at least a partial profit in the stock at that time. OR using at a glance template. The weekly candle color was bullish cyan for quite a long time. On this day, OR broke out of multiple memory resistance levels. That was the time I discussed the stock giving a possible breakout long entry opportunity. From that close at the high of this week, it gave us more than 10% profit. You would put stop just below the entry candle slow using Q protection signal as trailing stop. Because this was a breakout trade and the recent low was far away, you wouldn't use the recent low to put your stop. Instead, you would put your stop using Q trailing stop. That is using Q protection signal which would be somewhere here. This was the risk distance. This week you covered more than the risk distance and following discipline, at least partial profit would be booked. This week's candle ended with an upper tail. Looking at that, you could consider booking full position profit or if you are still holding partial position, you would use Q protection signal to apply trailing stop so that if the stock reverses, your profit doesn't erode much. This was an example where you could take a breakout trade using the strength of the industry and the technical breakout setup on Q charts. Worst performing industries of this week. As the market is falling sharply, it is much easier to take short trades and profit from it. In a falling market, it is not necessary to look for only weak fundamental stocks. Even strong fundamental stocks drop in a rapidly falling market. In the current market situation, you may align technical weakness with industry weakness to find high probability trades. You could find such a trade in drug retail, one of this week's worst performing industries. In this industry, WBA dropped by 14.5% in this single week. Q headwind reversal signal once again caught the very top in both weekly and daily charts. The daily bearish headwind came on 7th December and that was also accompanied by false upside breakout in both weekly and daily charts. The false upside breakout happened at watermark resistance levels. You could take a very low risk short position based on those signals that was on 7th December. Alternatively, you could also short the stock on 14th December. That was the first possible trend following short opportunity using the go with flow short trade setup. On that day, price had a gap down open and price closed below memory support in daily. In this example, Q technical signals, the headwind signal and then the magenta color candle in the daily chart, the flow color, gave you multiple opportunities at shorting the stock, all of which, both the headwind based short or the magenta flow color based go with flow trend following short setup, turned out to be highly profitable. WBA is not fundamentally weak showing that in a declining market, even strong fundamental stocks drop. As I mentioned, you can take advantage of such drops by aligning technical signals with industry weakness that is identified in QH and you don't have to look for fundamental weakness to take profitable short trades in the current market. Industry scorecard and heat map in QH the analysis that QH does for the 11 sectors, it does the same analysis for hundreds of industries. 
analyzes all the industries across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days, 5 days, etc. Cyan color indicates relative strength, magenta represents relative weakness. From the scorecard, you can see gold is the best performing industry and from the numbers under the 5 day header, you can see gold is the only industry that went up. All the other industries went down. You can double click on any header to sort it and then double click again to reverse the sort order. Currently, we are looking at the best performing industries at the top. This week's best performing industries are shown by cyan color under 5 days column. If you double click the header, it will show the worst performing industries of the week at the top. They are shown by magenta color. Drug retail is of interest because it is one of the worst performing industries of the week. And looking to the right, you can see it was cyan. That is, it was stronger earlier. Therefore, using the heat map, you could catch the stocks almost at the very top and take profitable shots in them. WBA is in drug retail industry. It is not fundamentally weak. In fact, it has good valuation. Optimal valuation, we know that from the cyan color under valuation column. It also has steady earnings growth in green color for the three yearly periods and for the three quarterly periods recent quarterly periods. Drug retailers are not high growth stocks, so we don't expect them to have very large numbers in EPS growth. WBA is having steady EPS growth that is quite good for a defensive industry stock. It also has good earnings quality shown by cyan color under earnings quality column pays a small dividend of 2.6%. Fundamentally, it is not weak. However, still you could short it using the industry's weakness and the technical short trade setup. WBA using at a glance template. Looking back, amazingly, it displayed the bearish headwind reversal signal in both the weekly as well as the daily chart at the very top. From there, price dropped heavily. There was a watermark resistance level in the weekly chart and also in the daily chart. When the daily bearish headwind signal came, price closed below the watermark levels. Looking at that false upside breakout and the bearish headwind signal, you could take a short trade at that time putting stop just above recent high and as price fell down, you could book at least partial profit maybe at the lower boundary level and you would continue to hold the remaining position with trailing stop letting profit run. If you didn't take the short trade at the very top using the unique Q headwind reversal signal, you could take it on this magenta color candle. That is the flow color on Q charts. When a stock is showing lower high and lower low, the magenta color candle is the optimal short entry point. We had a gap down day on this candle. Therefore, the stop at recent high would be quite far. If you check, you will see that on that gap down open day, price actually broke below a memory support line that was in the daily chart. Therefore, it was a breakout short entry opportunity. When that happens, instead of using the recent high as your stop loss point, you could use Q protection signal to decide your stop level. That would be somewhere here. Your entry point as a breakout trade would be at the close of the magenta color candle. As price came down and covered more than the risk distance, you could book at least partial profit. And as the industry was weak, 
the stock was dropping sharply, you would not have any reason to book full profit. You would be holding partial position trying to let profit run and as the stock dropped, your profit would increase very much. In this case, you could take a very profitable short trade either using the headwind reversal signal or the first possible trend following short trade at the magenta color candle which was also a breakout short trade opportunity. Accelerating industries. These industries may be behind but they are gaining momentum fast. Accelerating industries are those that are gaining strength relative to others. In a bullish market, you can find attractive buying opportunities well ahead of others from these accelerating industries. However, when the market is very bearish, like it is now, it may be safer to avoid buying unless the industry is actually going up. In this week, only gold mining industry is up. None of these accelerating industries are up, though they are faring better than others, meaning probably they are dropping less than others. Because they are still dropping, you may not look for buying opportunities from this list right now. However, if the market starts to go up, you may find attractive buying opportunities from this list. QH shows the accelerating industries in real time. This week's accelerating industries are shown by cyan color under PACE 5 days column. We saw that financials is the most accelerating sector and you can see several financials industries, regional banks and diversified banks are among the most accelerating industries. You would not go to buy stocks in these industries right now. However, if the market starts to go up, you would probably find very lucrative buying opportunities from these accelerating industries. Decelerating industries, these are losing momentum. You would look for shorting opportunities from these industries. Hotel, resorts and cruise lines is decelerating. It was stronger before. In this industry, RCL is fundamentally strong. You can see that instantly from QH, fundamental scorecard. However, as I already mentioned, in a bearish market, you can profit by shorting stocks that are in weak industries or weakening, that is decelerating, and are giving Q short trade setup. RCL gave a go with flow trend following short setup on 19th December. It broke below daily memory support at the same time. That was happening when many PR stocks were also falling sharply, all of which were fundamentally strong. The RCL short trade has hit profit target by this Friday. You could identify the trade at the right time using industry deceleration and go with flow or breakout technical scan in Q systems. In QH, the decelerating industries are shown by magenta color under page 5 days column. Hotel, resource and cruise lines was stronger earlier. It had cyan color scores in earlier review periods. This week it turned magenta under the score column, 5 days score, and it decelerated heavily that is showing as magenta color under page 5 days column. If you drill down into the stocks, you can see RCL is fundamentally strong. We know that from the valuation being in cyan color and it has positive earnings growth in all the three yearly periods as well as the three recent quarterly periods. Earnings quality is also strong shown by cyan color under earnings quality column. Therefore, fundamentally it is strong. However, again, in a weak market like we have now, you don't have to look for weak fundamental stocks for shorting. You can find very profitable shorting opportunities by looking at industry weakness and technical weakness. Hotel, resorts and cruise lines 
is decelerating therefore you could look for short setup on technical charts this rcl using at a glance template in the weekly chart it dropped heavily with very high activity in the daily chart it had lower high and lower low then we had a magenta color candle that is the flow color in the daily chart that gave us an optimal short opportunity you could take the shot right at the close of this magenta candle putting stop just above recent high as price fell down from here by Friday, you had more than risk distance covered. With discipline, you would book partial profit. As the industry is decelerating and technically the stock is very weak, it closed at the very bottom of Friday's price. Technically, it is very weak. Therefore, you would not have any reason to close full position. You would hold on to partial position use trailing stop and try to let profit run. In this case, you could find a very profitable short opportunity using Q industry deceleration and using the go with flow short trade setup. You could find it using the scanning program in Q systems. Those were our weekly market roundup regular topics. I will analyze more stocks using Q Live system in the Monday morning meeting. You may register for that session from the education live class page. The Monday morning meeting is open to the public. Let me summarize. Market breadth is very bearish. Market ETFs are also very bearish. Both are oversold. However, there is no bullish indication whatsoever. Under such a situation, you would not look for buying opportunities. It is so bearish that I suggest not to look for buying opportunities even in defensive sectors. In the current market situation, it is much easier to take high probability short trades and profit relatively easily from that. We saw that using either the top down analysis starting from QH or using Q scans for headwind short setup or go with flow short setup, you could take some very low risk, high profitable trades in the past week and you may look for the same in the coming week as well. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session and also in the Monday morning meetup. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.